Good morning, Steve Fried with the morning grand comments. Got beans down about nine cents. Uh, soybean oil gaining on meal. Corn about unchanged around the 295, 495 area. Um, wheat's down a penny at 585. Stocks are lower. Dollars are a little bit lower. Crude's lower, and the gold's lower. I think the crude and gold is lower after uh, over the weekend. Um, Israeli forces did not invade Gaza. It appears that uh, still trying to get some of the hostages out uh, before the invasion. <clears throat> so um, we'll have to watch that from a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. Uh, we continue to see mixed views as far as U.S. economy is concerned. Housing is down. Obviously, interest rates are high, uh, but also uh, consumer confidence uh, is relatively high, but more importantly, the retail sales and spending uh, is better than expected. GDP might be better than expected, while housing uh, continues to slip lower. In the grains, we might see some follow-through selling from Friday in the beans and, and soybean meal. Technically, uh, we it was unable to hold at those higher price levels, which is maybe triggering some long liquidation. Still waiting to see what uh, China does as far as buying U.S. beans. And logistics continues to be a problem in uh, northern Brazil, while uh, Argentina received much needed rains. Over in the corn, <clears throat> just not enough export demand to push above $5. Farmers, uh, a slow seller, ethanol, uh, margins remain positive. Uh, production is above a year ago, along with export commitments uh, in general uh, above uh, last year. Um, I think the market is going to be focusing on uh, Brazil weather and also uh, be focusing on any uh, conflict between uh, Ukraine getting grain out uh, and also just what global uh, corn demand is going to be with so much feed wheat around. In the wheat market, uh, still trying to hold at uh, levels uh, after the sell-off on Friday. Again, southern hemisphere conditions suggest lower wheat production there. Um, there's also concern about lower uh, protein wheat around globally, and that's why Minneapolis is gaining on both Chicago and Kansas City. Again, watching how much... Um, Wheat gets out of Russia at lower prices, and uh, if any buyers kind of pick up the pace from where global trade is right now, uh, Southern Plains still remains mostly dry, um, and uh, there will be a rain event that moves across uh, parts of the Southern Midwest, the Western Midwest up into Wisconsin over the next five days. Uh, outlook for the six to 10 day and the eight to 14 day is Probably normal precip, maybe a little bit no, below normal precip in the southern Midwest areas, but temperatures colder than normal.